What's going on, YouTube? We're back with another banger. We're at Britain Lake. And we got the new bait cast combo. Canyon Tiger and the Canyon CR7. We're gonna toss this out. We got a little net break. Weightless. Trying to get some smallmouth here. We gotta put on a little bug spray. So picky. I swear I've tossed every plastic at them. Craws? Yeah, this year was a craw year, dude. Yeah. That's the that's the result from a late shad spawn. Creates an early die-off in where the the crawfish uh, spawn like crazy because they eat all that. You hear that? It's kind of messed with uh, crossing the bridge and then kind of descending the bank. It's really steep and kind of not super safe. But I yeah. kind of got over there on that side of the bridge and there's carp over here. Yeah, there's definitely carp here. All of the fish I saw were like four or five inches up there. I caught one, what, yesterday or the day before? No, the day before yesterday here, within like first cast, couple first minute I got here, and then nothing <laughs> for like an hour. So I left. <laughs> really? On on uh, on bass or? Yeah, man. Rooster really? tails. I've been using a little brown rooster tail that works out. Yeah, yeah the a little. Yep. Yeah. That's because they're small, huh? That's why they work out here. Like those smaller, know. smaller presentation lures, I feel like they work well out here. Oh no, I didn't even get it on film. <laughs> yeah. No, I got them underneath the dock. A little large mouth. <sighs> He's about the same size as the one you got, huh? Just about. Yeah. Just about. I See ya, thank you. Not too bad. Heck yeah, guys, you've seen it first. I already caught a fish. Actually, you didn't even see it. <laughs> I didn't even turn the GoPro on. I'm failing as a YouTuber, guys. I am failing. All right, so they're underneath the dock. Let me see if I can get this little bigger brother. Keep the GoPro on this time. He hit it right away too. He got pissed off. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I missed it. Do that again. <laughs> I'm already having fun with a little Ned rig. Oh, Andrew, you gotta come here with your little BFS setups. There we go. Got another one. Yeah. yeah, baby. This time we got you on camera. Oh, I love this rod. It's got amazing, amazing action on it. Like I could feel, I could feel his thoughts before he even wants to bite it. I could feel his thoughts before he wants to bite it with this rod. Second, second species of the day. Oh, nice little bass. We're gonna let him go. Bloop. 
Ned rig. Yeah, baby. I'm narrowing it down, dude. Are you serious? No way. Dang, sick, dude. Yeah? Well, dude, that's that's all that matters, bro. It's like wherever wherever is your favorite spot, you know? <laughs> all right, here we go again. Let's try catch number three. All right, third bass, here we go. Maybe, maybe not hit the dock. <laughs> Trying to hit this out there. Ooh, did you hear that one? My favorite rod now. And it's not even the most expensive one. So far, extremely impressed with this brand, Cadence. Yeah, dude, I was catching so much trout in my area, bro. That little spot where I always fish, that I bought a smoker and just started smoking them all. Bro, I want that. It's so good. I, I got. I want that life. Dude. Oh, Is that a bobber? Is that your bobber? Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. I got, oh, no. No. He let off. I didn't hook set too good. Dude, bro. I just get five every day, you know what I mean? And I just go to the house, I fillet them, I smoke them. <laughs> no, I, I was actually just telling my mom that I want to use it. Yeah, I, I got the one from Amazon for like 150 bucks. Like a master build, it's all digital and stuff. I just set it and forget it, dude. I, I put it in there, put the rack in there, I go fishing, I come back, it's, you know, it's done three, four hours later, you know? Or not even three, four hours, like two hours. Like two hours, dude. You can cook it really, really slow on 180 for five hours, or you can go a little bit, uh, what is it, um, 200, and it'll be done in like, what, 210, it'll be done in like an hour. So you can kind of play with the, with, the, with the temperatures between 180 to 210 to see how you like it, you know what I mean? Some people prefer a little bit more dry, some people prefer a little bit more uh, moist, you know? I like it cooked all the way. Not, not too uh, undercooked, you know. Yeah, I like fish. Whatever, man. Whatever. Raw. Raw's good too. Especially uni, dude. Uni's so good. Sea urchin, fisherman's lifestyle, huh? Or uh, who, who else does that? Um, outdoor chef life. He does that. He turned it into his dream or his his job now, you know. I remember when he used to still work at the sushi spot in San Francisco. I was like, bro, all these YouTubers are all fishing every single day and getting paid to do it. I can do this too, you know? You just gotta catch fish though. Even if I don't, I still post a vid though because you know it's realistic fishing, right? Yeah. Can't be one of those YouTubers that's just all about showing fish after fish after fish no you gotta you gotta give the people the reality of fishing you know because you're gonna get their hopes up and then they're gonna go out there two three days and catch nothing and then they're gonna throw away their fishing pole and be like i'm done with this so it's like you got to be realistic to people hey 
There we go. Got one. Instantly, I threw him. He swallowed it. I just put it right in his mouth. Kind of wears off. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Because then it's like, yeah, no. That's that's the, that's that's the fun part about it, you know. But anyways, we were just talking about breaking fish in, and I caught a little guy. I just oh, a little snap my new rod tip, man. Fish number three, another little largy. He's a tiny. What is a large mouth? Thank you, buddy. Playing the game. Not bad. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap up today's video. We caught three little dinkers. We met a nice guy here. His name's Matt. Fishes here avidly, so hopefully he catches on to more fish today. And uh, got a new subscriber as well. So uh, hopefully um, we get some more fish out here next time, some bigger ones and stuff. But uh, now we're narrowing it down to what they like. Ned rigs. Um, he said rooster tails are working. Um, small jig heads too, they work pretty good out here. Might just turn up some some videos right now, see if maybe the, the laptop will cooperate. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. You. Yeah.